Hey, sweet faces. Welcome to this week's homework. I hope you had a great spring break and are ready to take on our newest topic, which is talking about plain shapes. So we're looking at a couple of different characteristics about our shapes. We're looking at whether or not they're open or closed, because in order to be a plain shape, they must be closed. And then we're going to be talking about angles and sides throughout our time together this week. So let's jump in first and talk about open or closed. Remember, open or closed, we can determine it if we think about filling it with a liquid. If we filled it with a liquid, would the liquid stay inside or would the liquid come out? So if we're looking at this one, this is a closed shape. There are no holes. Over here, this is a closed shape. There are no holes. If I think about filling this in, we have a giant open space. So this will not hold water. Same thing with this. It does have an open end on both sides. So this would be considered an open shape. Down here, again, we have an open shape. And our final one is closed. Any questions on these? Please bring them with you to class. All right, Tiny Nuggets, we're looking at how many sides each shape has. Remember sides, think of it like lines that I would have to draw in order to recreate the shape. So if I'm looking at my triangle, I have one, two, three, there are three sides. Over here, our rectangle, one, two, three, four, there are four sides. And it's very easy to count if we just trace over the lines that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sides on the shape. Over here, our diamond, one, two, three, four. There are four sides. Remember, this is a diamond. We could also say a quadrilateral. Over here, one, two, three, four, five sides on our pentagon. And we have an arrow, count carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven sides on this arrow. Any questions about these? Bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, our next page, we are looking at the angles of each shape. Remember, an angle is created where two sides meet. So we're thinking of the points or the corners here. So let's take a look at this shape. I have one, two, three, four angles. Over here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. This guy, my pentagon, one, two, three, four, five, six. Over here, my triangle, one, two, three. You might be noticing something at this point. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. You may have noticed at this point that our angles and our sides are equivalent. So this square has four sides. It also has four angles. This quadrilateral has four sides. It also has four angles. Our angle and side measurements should be the same. Any questions on counting angles? Please bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, this was the icky, sticky, tricky part. I asked you to name the shapes below. Now, remember, spelling does not count. This is a math class, but I want you to do your best to name each of our shapes. This one, this is a circle. This friend, this is a pentagon. Pentagon has one, two, three, four, five sides. This three-sided shape is a triangle. This one, two, three, four, five, six-sided shape is a hexagon. This four-sided shape is a square. And then this one, super stretch, eight-sided shape. This is an octagon. Just like an octopus has eight arms, an octagon has eight sides. Any questions on these kiddos? <clears throat> Bring them with you to class. All right, love bugs, our last chance, our last page where you are gonna draw a shape based on the rule below. So we have some options. For four-sided, I could draw a square. 
I could draw a rectangle. I could draw a diamond or a rhombus. As long as it has four sides, it counts. Over here, I have three angles, which is going to be a triangle. But we know the cool thing about triangles is they can look very, very different. So as long as it has three sides, it works. Over here, we have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six-sided shape. Any variation, as long as you can count six sides. Here we have five. One, two, three, four, five five, a five-sided shape. No sides, no angles. This is a bit of a trickster. This is a circle. No sides, right? No angles. It's a circle. Four sides, four angles, lots of options. There's my four sides. There's my four angles. We know that they're equivalent. Four sides, four angles. I could draw a square. I could draw a rectangle, quadrilateral, trapezoid, rhombus, diamond, tons of options. But if you have any questions, bring them with you to class. Have a good weekend, athletes.